So with the runner in scoring position at second base and one away in the inning it would appear we'll have a pinch hitter here. Your attention please. Pinch hitting for Cincinnati. Number 89. Sitting on something right here. Eddie. Yeah. Fouled off. He said, here's the 0-1. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Hayes is back to the track as he takes it for route number two. Well, we've mentioned the... Now Phil Maton is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Maton. You can just see that the confidence is radiating off of them out there right now. That's six wins in a row, and this looks like a train that's not about to slow down anytime soon. Tonight's ball game comes to a close. Three to one, the final. The Reds came through late, taking the lead in the eighth to secure the victory. Zach Gallen earns the victory out of the bullpen, his fifth. Miguel Figueroa records the save, his ninth of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. Boys. For more, make for your Victoria way over to theshownation.com. Nine hits, no errors. They left. We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Tonight, an intriguing matchup between the Cincinnati Reds and the St. Louis Cardinals. The Reds look for their seventh straight victory next. Number 35 gets the start for St. Louis in this one. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, man, we're getting a look at a guy that's really been struggling lately. In his last three starts, he has a whip of over 1.50. Lots of base Eddie. runners, lots of hits, Eddie. and lots of walks, and that doesn't add up to very good performances. So he's going to look to turn things around in this one here today. That ball hit high and deep. Stretch, stretch. You can put it on the board. Yes. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Home run number 66 on the year, and it's given Cincinnati a 2 to nothing lead. Well, it's very early, but he's looked out of sorts from the beginning. They've already roughed him up for two homers, and they're not done yet. We'll see if he can regroup or if he blows up. Could go either way at this point. Now at the plate, Eddie James. He went deep in his first at-bat. We'll see what he's got in store for us here. We all know this guy's a real good fastball hitter. We saw how far he could hit one. He got a fastball that he liked, and he turned that thing around, and it got out of here in a hurry. O'Neill will wait on it, and very quickly, one gone. And with one away, let's give you a look at the standings in the NL Central entering play as you see where these two teams sit in relation to one another. Stepping in, Eddie James. He flew out in his last at bat. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on. He pulls this one high and deep to right center field. It is gone. Holy cow. Oh, my goodness. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Solo shot to right center, his second of the game as they stretch the lead to 5 1. We've seen these guys go deep three times so far in this one, guys. Settling in now, Tyler no Callahan, a hit in two at second bats for him right. at this point in the ballgame. And he popped him up. Marte into shallow left. 
He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Striding into the box, Eddie James. He'll swing it from the left side right here. Hey, Matty, an interesting sequence in that last at bat when he hit a home run. First pitch breaking ball when he hit that towering long drive home run. We'll see if they attack him more with fastballs in this at bat. Toward the gap in right center, this is going to be a base hit, and he may take that big turn at first. And he is in the second with a double, his third hit of the night. You could tell he was thinking fastball all the way here, and that's exactly what he got. He was able to get the bat head out front and pull it into the gap in the right center. Now they're set up pretty nicely for a good inning after that leadoff double. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Dylan Cousins. No thump out of him in this game so far, as might be expected. He's 0 for 3. Now a swing, and he gets him to pop it up. Callahan will stay with it as he backs up and puts it away. One gone. Throw back to second, and that's a double play. Digging in once again, Davey Grion. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Cardinals down to their final strike here. Pulled high in the air out to left field. And he'll make the catch there to end it. And the Reds continue the roll they've been on. Seven straight victories now as this ball game is over. Wow, what a week for these guys. Talk about firing on all cylinders. Winners of an amazing seven games in a row. They say to never question the streak, and these guys aren't. They're just enjoying this ride. Tonight's game comes to an end. Five to one, the final score. The Reds jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Trevor Bauer earns his fifth winner of the year. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious Cincinnati Reds. Five runs, ten hits, no errors. They left seven men on base. MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Ought to be a good one here between the Cincinnati Reds and the St. Louis Cardinals. The Reds are looking to collect their eighth win in a row next. Matthew Liberatore, the lefty from Arizona, gets the ball. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Well, this guy certainly could be one of those horses for courses kind of guy. Loves pitching at home. Take a look at those home road splits. They're pretty good. Without question, he's more comfortable pitching at home than he is on the road. Batting third. The left fielder. Now Eddie. batting, Eddie James. Hey. It was a three-hit effort from him last night, so he was a big part of that victory. That ball hit high and deep. Stretch. Stretch. You can't put it on the board. Yes. Boy, talk about when you're hot, you're hot. Hits two bombs yesterday and another long bomb so far today. When this guy gets hot, he's near impossible to stop. I'm not giving this guy a pitch anywhere close to hit. So striding forward now, Seth Morgan Brown. Lewis. His average for the, the year sits in play. the 280s entering Back. play. Brown. Lifted the other way out to left yeah, center. Right You're under you, you, you. James has to run a ways before he gets there in time to record the out. How about that?
New inning set to get underway. And standing in is the veteran outfielder, Eddie James. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. But that'll hit off the wall in left center. Around second now and headed for third. The relay throw, and he is out at third. And that's a big mistake there leading off the inning. To me, that was just way too big of a risk. If you're leading off an inning and you've already got two bases easily, pull up and pat yourself on the back. You're already in the scoring position, but now they've got nothing to show for the leadoff extra base. Stepping in for the Cardinals, Seth Brown. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Both clubs with three hits in the wow. ballgame. In the air now, out to left. Left fielder giving chase. And a diving try in left, but he can't come up with it. And this will kick off the base of the wall. And he's in there at third with a one-out triple. Hey, after that hit right there, Dero, that extends his hitting streak to six games. Yeah, no doubt about it. Six days in a row with Knox will help you sleep better at night, Dan. Pretty well struck, high and deep to left field. Left fielder looking up to the track, to the wall. And they take the lead. It's gone. Hey, that's the price you pay right there. So striding in, Malcolm Nunez, runner in scoring position with two gone. Malcolm Nunez. Pulled high in the air out to left field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Both teams battling the elements thus far, but we've got a tight game through five. Now at the plate, Eddie James. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. Line to shortstop, and there's one away. Austin Hayes the next to bat. And he's coming off a two-run homer his last time around. The last at bat, hey. Manny B. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fat. This is hit high and deep out to left. Looking up is the left oh, fielder. Yeah. And that one is gone on a two strike count with two away in the inning. Ready for another shot now. No Tyler Number Callahan, eight. one Second for two man. in the ball game thus far. Tyler. Well, that's the sixth home run Callahan. we've watched leave the yard in this one. Guys, what do you think's behind the hitting we've seen here today? Dan, they're absolutely. Well, the left fielder's on it, and that retires the side. So just the one hit. Hey, let her fly up there, huh? Digging in to try it again. Eddie James, as the, the switch hitter, will take his cuts left-handed here. Yeah. Really doesn't matter what side the plate of this guy bats from. He hits very well. He hits right-handed pitching very well, swinging left-handed. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Hayes on the run for it. Still going back. Gone. Big dogs got to eat. Solo shot to right center, and we are tied again. Into the box now, Tyler Callahan. They'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that tying run from first. Ready with the 0-1. Skied in the air to straightaway left. James will have plenty of room as he makes the catch, and there's a big out number two. Wow, that's eight wins in a row, and it seems like they can't do anything wrong. When you're riding a streak like this, you eat the same food, you drive the ballpark the same way, you do everything the same because you don't want to do anything to jeopardize this streak. A one-run finish today, 5-4 to four the final score. Cincinnati rack up a division-leading 40th victory of the season.
Zach Gallen gets the win in relief his sixth of the season. Miguel Figueroa wraps it up for the save his tenth. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. The final line score for our ball game this afternoon for the victorious...